Britain imposes new sanctions on Russian elites and businesses, and EFG Hermes posts record 2021 revenues. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramya Farad. Britain has imposed new sanctions on Russian elites and businesses, targeting strategic industries, including a defense company that makes drones, major shipping group Sovcomflot, and top lender Gazprom Bank. The government says the latest steps mean Britain has imposed sanctions on banks with total assets of $658.65 billion and on individuals with a net worth of nearly $198 billion. Some of the newly sanctioned entities are Russia's largest private bank, Alpha Bank, the world's largest diamond producer, Alrosa, and defense company, Kronstadt. Russian steel giant Severstal, whose main shareholder, Alexei Mordashov, is under EU sanctions, is fighting to avert what may be the first default by a Russian firm. In a press release published on the London Stock Exchange website, the company said that a test payment it sent on March 16th had not reached the account of the issuer because the payment was frozen by the latter's U.S. correspondent bank, Citibank, due to regulatory investigations. Severstal says it's looking to initiate an application for licenses from the relevant competent authorities in order to process the payment. Egyptian investment bank EFG Hermes's 2021 revenue rose 12% year-on-year to $332.2 million. The firm says this is the first year its revenues crossed the $326 million mark, backed by the growth of its business operations and the acquisition of Arab Investment Bank in Q4. Officials say their non-bank financial institutions platform delivered solid results, with leading microfinance player Tenmia making up the lion's share of revenue. Saudi-based B2B e-commerce startup Sari has led a $22.5 million Series A funding round for Pakistan's B2B platform Jugnu, taking a significant stake in the company. The new investment marks Sari's second deal this year following its acquisition of Egypt-based B2B food and grocery marketplace Morawad in March. It also comes shortly after Sari raised a $75 million Series C funding led by Sanabil Investments. The Minap Focus startup, founded in 2018, has secured three funding rounds totaling $112 million so far. The Dubai Financial Market today hosted the launch of BHM Capital's smart digital onboarding system. Through it, investors can finalize all steps related to acquiring an investor number through an innovative, simplified and reliable digital onboarding solution. DFM officials say the digital transformation efforts are gaining further momentum owing to the accelerating pace of electronic connectivity with leading brokerage firms. The Bank of England has begun sketching out Britain's first regulatory framework for crypto assets. It says the sector's rapid growth could pose risks to financial stability in future if left unregulated. Cryptos have come under the regulatory spotlight amid concerns they could be used to circumvent financial sanctions imposed on Russia. Cryptos such as Bitcoin and Ether fall outside the so-called regulatory perimeter and a change of law would be needed to bring them inside the full scope of UK securities rules. The impact of the Ukraine war on the energy sector could slow down progress towards net zero goals globally and accelerate the use of digital currencies as a tool to settle global transactions. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink says with consumers facing higher energy costs, energy security has joined energy transition as a top global priority. Fink says the war will also prompt countries to re-evaluate their currency dependencies and to accelerate the use of digital assets for international transactions. Meanwhile, Total Energy aims to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from its fuel product sales by more than 30% by 2030 compared with 2015. The French oil major says it's setting new targets for reducing its methane emissions and routing gas flaring. Mineral exploration company Cobold Metals, backed by billionaires including Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, says it will begin drilling in Greenland for critical materials used in electric vehicles. Cobold, which uses AI and machine learning to hunt for raw materials, last year secured a 51% stake in the Disco Nusuak project on Greenland's west coast, which is operated by London-listed Blue Jay Mining. The joint venture's objective is to target massive nickel, copper, cobalt and platinum group metals. I'm Ramya Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.